there's an electricity in this building. We take what we want. Click. Oh, click. Welcome to OVW. Oh, another super kick. Second super kick right on the button. Haley diving in for the cover. She got her. Oh, my God. There you go. go. Big Al, Alice Crowley, the tag partner, friend, whatever you want to call her, jumping Haley J from behind. Blanco Loco is dangerous from any position in that ring. A champion is on the ground. Loco is in control. Curtis. Oh, Curtis with a chair. A cheap shot. That tacky Loco with that chair. Loco didn't even see it. I had to teach Jada Stone. I had to teach her a lesson. Last time I faced you, I beat you with a roll-up, and then you viciously attacked me after the match. Shulancy's had enough of, of Jada Stone's back talk, I guess. Wait she a attacked me! She's lying! Hang on, Shulancy! Oh, Shulancy with that crutch! Have you gentlemen seen Star Rider? I've been looking all over him since now. Have you seen him or not? It is your base here. You mind your eyes, boys. You see nothing. You keep about your business. And if you see Star Rider, let me know. Four of the best that the sport of professional wrestling has to offer. A smart tag team action here. Disorienting truth. Omar, I don't think he realizes he's in there low with the oh, outrunner. No. Plants him deep. Truth got him a... What the oh, hell? Come on. What? What the hell is Luke Curtis and Adam... What are they doing out here? These men motivated by nothing more than greed. You made a fight with the wrong four men. Goddard's gang versus Luscious, Omar, and the Outrunners. Runner. Contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, operating locations worldwide, Mercenary Garrison Creed. Folks, welcome to this hour of OVW live from the world famous Davis Arena. Brian Kinnis here with Dancer Stevie J and John Shashcraft calling all the action. Garrison Creed kicking off this, uh, this hour of OVW, guys. Mercenary Garrison Creed. Phenomenal shape here. Absolutely. Got on the injured shelf there for a minute. Came back in the best shape of his life and ready to take care of business only the mercenary can. And his opponent from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. He is the fanny pack kid, Cal Hero. Cal Hero, Jerry Buggins, way down here from Wisconsin, a product of the Hero Wrestling Compound. And guys, one of the brightest young stars that walked through the halls of Davis Arena in quite some time. The fanny pack kid, known for all of the terrible and menacing and nefarious things that he's carrying around in that fanny pack. What? Not to be trusted. Joe Wheeler, check inside of that. I, I bet he's at least got brass ducks. You're an idiot. Are you confusing with your fanny pack, Steve? I've seen the inside of your fanny pack. Roll those, quarters. Those do not get through TSA. Here we go. Garrison Creed facing off with Cal Hero. Fanny Pack Kid, guys, has not been, had a great string of luck as of late. Wasn't able to, or lost the OVW Rush Division Championship a couple months ago. Has not been able to get back into contention well, since then. That's because he hasn't been using those brass knucks inside of his fanny pack, Brian. It's obvious. Brass, he's never used brass knucks inside his fanny maybe pack. Maybe he should. Maybe, no, maybe he shouldn't. Cal Hero is not that kind of guy. Yeah, you he, might be. You might be a disgusting, deplorable human being. Cal Hero is not. Oh. And that's evident by the love that he gets shown from the crowd here every week, there's Steve. No, there's no might be to it. Cal Hero does not need to, to go to those nefarious tactics. A student of the game since the day he was born has been brought up along the likes of luminaries like Al Snow, Scotty Too Hotty, Kevin Nash. He's learned from the best and now forging his own path in the sport. Speaking of learning from the best, look at this a little bit of technical wrestling clinic being put on here by Cal Hero. The much larger Garrison Creed 
trying to impose his will, using his size to his advantage, but Cal using his speed. Oh. And see, see, that's what I meant. That's the good base the mercenary had there, not getting taken over with that hip toss, or not, sorry, headlock takeover. Nice. Headlock takeover, but yeah. you know, you tried. Power versus speed here, guys. Garrison Creed, you see him slowing down here, wanting to dictate the, the pace of this match himself. Not want to make a mistake to Cal Hero, who would quickly capitalize. Creed shoots him for that waist lock. Cal trying to get out of it, looking to take the arm. Creed snatches the head instead. Creed, that laser-like focus that being a mercenary can get for, he does not see anything other than his opponent there, guys. I'm telling you, he might not even see the crowd in here. He might not hear anything other than Cal Hero breathing. Garrison Creed laser-focused in that ring. Brilliant counter-rustling by these two, the fans. Oh. And Cal managed to finally snap him over on that headlock. And honestly, guys, the, the show of respect you're seeing here, neither one wanting to go too fast because they know the other one just so talented and can capitalize. Just really want to make sure they don't make a mistake. Exactly. Neither want to make a mistake because it could be the only mistake that they will make in this match. And now Creed, so he's trying to go for a crossface chicken wing, maybe, if he can shoot that hand up enough. It looks like his forearm's more along the throat instead of pulling that you, chin away from the shoulder. You hear him barking at Cal, telling him to tap, trying to demoralize the fanny pack kid. But now Cal backing down Creed into the corner. Snaps Creed right back over. Creed goes to charge in. Cal takes him back down with that side headlock takeover, and Garrison Creed's getting frustrated, guys. Both these guys really stick it to the fundamentals and the basics here. Again, feeling, feeling out the other one. The first time these two has ever faced off in one-on-one -on -one competition here at OVW. Oh, and now look at this. Creed looked like he was almost trying to go for the ear, maybe. And again, oh, Creed got him up. The Cal Hero dropped like a bad habit. Creed thinks he's got it here. Creed goes for the cover, only gets a one count. Cal looking a little wide-eyed and manic there. I think he might have got a little shook there by Creed dropping him so hard. And look at Creed now, not giving him an inch to breathe. Now looking to lock in the submission. Uh -oh. Garrison Creed, he's Bow got and those, arrow. He's got those legs tied up. And Creed being so vocal and they're really trying to demoralize Cal. And you gotta think and that comes look from this. some of his training. And trying to, ooh, some psychological warfare. Look at him just bending Cal in half. Good the Lord. amount of pressure and strain on the shoulders, that surgically repaired shoulder of Cal Hero. A bow and arrow on the legs, but a surfboard up top, and Cal Hero is getting stretched 12 ways from Sunday. It's hard to reach for the ropes when both your arms are incapacitated. Garrison Green might be zeroing in on the huge win here, guys. Well, and there you see the camera got a shot of it as well. Cal just doing anything he can to get out. He's got his ankles crossed behind him. Creed's got him basically pinned in place. Now, there it is. Cal managed to slip that leg out. Now reach for the knucks, kid. What? Cal working something loose. Oh, hold on. Oh, flips him over. Cal finds a way to escape that unique submission maneuver from Garrison Creed. But was Cal the damage out. done? Creed, though, frustrating. That's what we've been talking about the whole time, guys. He made a mistake. Cal Hero capitalized. Neither one of these guys wanted to go too fast because they could make that mistake, and Creed is down. You see, eight Bill times Creed rushed in, and he paid for it. Cal Hero keeping that composure. Now he's feeling it coming alive. Cal ducks under the wild shot from Creed there. Takes Creed down. And, guys, it was Creed. It was his own undoing. Cal Hero just waited for him to make a mistake. Now that door is open. Hitting him with the double axes and then a drop kick. Beautiful drop kick right to the mouth. Fanny Pack Kid's feeling himself tonight, guys. Steve, he might not have brass knucks on that fanny pack, but he might be pulling a win out of there if he can keep it together. Oh, took too much time gloating. Too much time playing to these ham and eggers in the crowd, and the mercenary took advantage of it. Oh, Cal here. up. Oh, Cal managed to get out of that suplex. Boot to the midsection. Fanny pack knee. Send him all the way to Wisconsin. That's all she wrote. Your winner, the Fanny Pack Kid, Cal Hero. What a big win from Cal Hero. Steve, no brass knucks, I'd like to point out, but a huge win for Cal Hero to kick off this hour of OBW. Speaking of this hour of OVW, guys, we have so much action lined up for this evening. You're absolutely right. We've got Rush Division action with Will Austin, Manny Domingo, and Blanco Loco that is sure to set the building on fire. But that's not it, Josh. But we heard about it at the top of the hour. Eight-man tag. Goddard's and his goons are taking on Omar Amir, Luscious Lawrence, and the Outrunners. Folks, they don't get much bigger than that eight-man main event we're gonna see in just a little bit. Folks, 
so much action tonight on the way to March Mayhem. Do not go anywhere. Stick around. Tony Gunn calls EC3 a coward. That hides behind his videos. Tony Gunn, what you've failed to realize is the difference between a wrestler and an attraction. Now, a wrestler wants to win. A wrestler wants to provide for his family. A wrestler's gonna give it his best shot. But an attraction is what draws the eyes and the emotion and the money. The attraction is what draws people to actually pay their hard-earned money to see us fight. It's the attraction that, dare I say, attracted five like-minded individuals to my cause in Ohio Valley Wrestling. Sup, boys, miss ya. It's the attraction that accepts the wrestler's challenge for 3-4-23 March Mayhem. Tony, I gave you the outs. I gave you the old... You know, he's, like, he's good. He's going to try real hard, you know. Just, just don't stay out of this one. But no, you had to You double down, you triple down, and now you challenge me. So if you take a shot at the king, you better not miss. March Mayhem sounds like March Madness. What happens in March Madness? You got the one seed and you got the 16 seed. And what does the 16 seed do to the one seed each and every time? They lose. Tony Gunn, I'd say I respect you, but I'm an attraction and I respect nothing but myself. This is the Overman EC3, and I'm out. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. For the people .com. It's free! Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. Now the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Ooh, another super kick. Second super kick right on the button. Haley diving in for the cover. She got her! Oh my god! Yo, 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 yo! Big Al, Alice Crowley. Oh, hold on, hold on, go for that big heart. And, oh my God, on that spine again. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. The following contest is a three-way rush division match, set for one fall and a 20-minute time limit. Introducing your first competitor from Miami, Florida, the king of fight. Will Austin! Will Austin, the king of flight, making his way up here from Miami, Florida. Guys, I love this young competitor. So full of energy, so full of grit and hook spots. Do you think he flew here? <laughs> just think, just think. Well, yeah, he might have drove. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Just <laughs> number two, yes. from Austin, Texas, Manny Domingo. I can tell you, Manny Domingo did not fly here. Steve, a man who took his life from Austin, Texas, up here to Louisville, Kentucky, to stand out in the OVW Rust Division. Josh, he's done just that in his short time in the company. Manny Domingo impressing more and more each week. And the final contestant from Mexico, New York, the Sultan of the Sky, Blanco Loco. Blanco Loco, guys. That tough love. Defeated Isaiah to become the number one contender for the Rush Division Championship tonight. Put it on the line in this triple threat. Not just a, he said, if I win the Rush Championship, I'll be a fighting champion. I'm going to prove it by being a fighting contender. Some people would call it honorable. Some people would call it absolutely ridiculous. If jo Steve, you got to admit, though, if he picks up a win here, that sends a message. He's not scared. What and does it, that tell Luke? Oh, Curtis? and if he loses, that sends another message that he's a dummy. I'm done.
You must upset about this, yeah, obviously. Like, you're you hot, say you're hot. Jesus gracious. Oh, Loco got caught by Domingo and Will Austin. Look at this, spins through. Snaps down, beautiful arm drag it looked like there on Domingo. And guys, we gotta say, we saw we saw Loco in that chain carnage matchup. When he's backed into a corner is when he is the most dangerous. So both these men got everything to gain. He has everything to lose. It might give him that advantage. Sidesteps Will Austin, just shoots him right into the corner. Domingo now with the waist lock. It's that offensive, defensive, Loco, just so unorthodox and unpredictable. Oh, Will Austin saw it coming, able to get out of the way right in the nick of time. Now what's he got in mind? Hold on, Will Austin, oh, it. Using Manny Domingo for a little bit of an assist. Oh, tried to go for a Rana, but. Hurricane Rana, Loco rolls through, and Austin can't oh, believe it. Oh, 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 right four arm the shots center. there, though. Oh, Austin with that knee to the temple. Austin was stunned, still there, but Manny Domingo saw the opening and took advantage. Huge shot, and now has Loco reeling. Both Will Austin and Manny Domingo taking it to the number one contender for the Rush Division Championship, and look at this. Again, offensive defense, Loco finds a way. This guy just so fun to watch, was so hard to call. Using these men as weapons against one another. And he kind of has to. I mean, you see throughout this match, Josh, Will Austin and Manny Domingo have seen, almost formed a team to try to take out the number one contender. Good God! It was like a torture rack drop or something? Yeah, uh, Argentinian rock into a bomb. I, I don't even know what to call it. It was effective, I'll tell you that. Lo Loco just so incredibly impressive. Oh, look at Manny Domingo getting flipped there. And these guys are like cast, no matter where you throw them from, they land on their feet. Just an incredible triple threat matchup thus far. And Manny Domingo, Will Austin, trying to find a way to isolate and tear it down Loco. Well, you have to wonder, you think, are either one of these guys wanting to put away Blanco Loco, show the OBW matchmakers, hey, I could be the next Rush Division champion. Absolutely, and if you beat Loco, you get a chance to prove that against Luke Curl. Oh my God. Blanco <laughs> taking down both men. Now, Will Austin and Manny Domingo both want to be the number one contender. Loco showing why he is right now, though. Beautiful running European uppercut. Oh, and a second one for Domingo. Loco forward rolls to the center of the ring. Loco showing homage oh, to that level X he was a part of in that chain carnage match. Oh, beautiful springboard cutter, double springboard cutter. Gets both men. Just so fast, so agile. Is he dumb now, Steve, or is he in control? Well, he's in control, but the idea is still ridiculous. But now, what? speaking of ridiculous, looks like Blanco Loco going to the top rope. Loco can put away Austin here. You gotta imagine, Luke Curtis is watching this so closely. He's gotta be shaking in his glittery boots. Hold on, Loco thinking something big here. So Sultan of the Sky comes down on the King of Flight with that spiral tap. Beautiful corkscrew and got oh. three. Domingo tried to get it last Here's second, couldn't winner, break it up. Blanco. Loco. Loco picking up the win, guys. He said if he wins the championship, he'll be a fighting champion. And I gotta believe him. He's not even a champion, he's already a fighting contender. Blanco Loco. Oh, looking great here to All right. Oh, come on. Speaking of looking great, passing the airport test is Luke Curtis, but what the hell is he doing out here with Shannon the dude? Passing the what? He looks important. You gotta read a book, Josh. I mean, you can put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig, Brian. It's a prettier pig. Bunko Loco! Well, you must be crazy, because you just wasted a lot of time with that number one contendership match. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've noticed, but we happen to have a lot of stroke around here. And now you may be the number one contender, but we can put this off as long as we need to. That, that seems about right for you, Luke. A coward. A snake, a disappointment as a champion. Oh, okay. Oh, Run, much. hide, keep that title around your waist at all costs. I can understand it. I'd be afraid too if I just watched my challenger beat the hell out of two of the best superstars in OVW. You know what? I don't really find it fair that every single time I have to put everything on the line and you have to put nothing. And besides, if I gave you an opportunity, it's not like you would beat me anyway. I'm never losing this title, baby. <laughs> never. 
Never. Here's the thing, Luke. You're talking about you putting everything in the line. What do you want? Name it. You want a stipulation? That's fine. You want the sparkle brigade right there to be in the match? Fine. You want a handicap match? Fine. Bring all your thugs. I don't care. The no, no, you want a stipulation? I'll give you a stipulation. You know, the past few weeks I've been watching you, and there is something that means a lot to you. A whole lot, isn't there? You want a shot at my title? Well, I want a shot at your mask. <laughs> what? Are you he ain't doing it. He don't have, Loco don't have the cojones to put that mask up. Baby. What the, okay. Deal. Deal. March 4th, the Souls in the Sky Blanco Loco, the OVW Rush Division Champion, Luke Curtis. Mask versus title. Bet on it. A mask isn't just a mask in wrestling, it, it's a symbol and now it's on the line. It's everything and this match just got even more intense. Everything on the line. March 4th, March Mayhem, mask versus title. Unbelievable. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. Want to raise money for your school, club, or organization? You can bring the action-packed excitement of OVW to your town. Oh! Email info at ovwrestling.com today to find out more. High school athletic departments, police and fire departments, sports teams, civic groups, or any group wanting to raise money can bring the superstars of OVW to town for a night of hard-hitting, oh! high-flying, action-packed excitement. Welcome to OVW. Bring the superstars of tomorrow to your town. Luscious, Omar, you two know, Outrunners were this close to taking those from you last week. No, no. We all know what happened afterwards. Tonight, we got a common enemy. You're right. Yeah, last week, Shannon, Revolver, and the rest of his crew messed with the wrong people, the Outrunners. They got us eight miles per hour on the highway to the anger zone, and we got the tag team champions riding passenger with us tonight. Isn't that right? That's right, baby. Tonight, those fruit booties are gonna learn that they don't play with the Outrunners, Luscious Lawrence, or Omar Amir. Let's get them. Up top, up top. Come, come down here. Okay, oh, hey, I know that. Yeah! Oh, oh, thank goodness. Why? About damn time. Stop. It's a good song. Stop. 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 Spotify. I, it's just this, I have a playlist, and it's all just this song. <laughs> I know her shirt's red, but I hope she never stops. It's so good. And you saw she asked me to help her carry her last week with her friends. What is that? Put that sign down! I, have it on good, goats I don't know where a stop sign came from, but I'm happy that it's here. I have it on good authority. She might invite me to the Grammys with her. The gift bags, they're elaborate. She took me to the last Grammys. It was an experience that I'll never forget. She... Uh, between the two of you and her, I think I'm starting to get a migraine. Is this what a migraine trigger is? I know you're excited. I know you're no. excited. Damn right we but are. But if you can just be quiet for just a little while. I'm asking down? nicely. We're just showing okay, support, Josh. please give me silence. Everybody, hush. Oh, wait, sorry. That's, I'm going oh, yeah. to ask one more time. Can more you things. please be silent? Well, you know what? I'm going to sing anyway. Ah, there it is. Cue my music again. I said cue my music. Cue my music so I can sing, please. Can we not pay him back there? Come, Come on, on, production. All right. Here we go. Stand to your feet, Remix everyone. Time. Come on. Here, Jay Z is talking about sampling in this. Oh, it's like an ice pick right in both eyes. Hey. 
Microphone can't pick up all the beauty. Come on, production, get it together. Give me the mic. You get up here. Shawnsay's having mic trouble here. Not exactly the worst thing in the world. Well, she sings in 1080. These mics can only pick up 720. Hold on. Hold on. What? Who's up there? I don't know, but whoever it is, give them a bonus. I don't think you can have bonus structures work, Josh. This has been a poor performance. What? Yeah, uh-huh. Come on. It's a red mark on the review of anything. Get down. Get down. Get down. Yes. Is she good? Get down, Eric Cornish. You're smart. Is she trying to use Eric Cornish like a human mic stand? He's the wrong wing side guy. Pick the wrong guy. I just named the wrong guy. Yeah, because you're shorter. Beastie Boys. Seems like something sabotage. What the hell's going oh, on? It's you. Hold on. Really, Jada? That's Jada really Stone. She's not authorized to work over there. <laughs> <laughs> she's not the she's just fiddling around with. Oh, you want to get beat again? Oh, I'm going to kick your. Hold on. Let's back from didn't pick that up. Shalance. Look like she's had enough. She's on her way back there to. Give Jada what for? Oh, she should. The champ embarrassed, more embarrassed than Eric Cornish in that pathetic display. Oh, hold on. We heard her singing in the back. We hear them yelling. Oh, I think they found each other. Oh, oh my oh. God. They definitely found each other. Jada throwing Shalante to the curtain now. Oh, Shalante's only got one shoe on. How dare you? Jada Stone just beating Shalante from pillar to post oh, on the way to the ring. She lost both shoes. The spark on fire right now, taking it to the champ. Oh, Fez Press. And look at this, rights and lefts by Jada Stone. Jada Stone taking it to Shalante. Jada Stone picked up a win over Shalante just a couple weeks ago, which really set this thing ablaze. Well, that gives her no authority to ruin an appearance by the champ. Get her, Jada. I mean, yeah, no, get her, Jada. Unbiased, Josh, come on. It gives me a headache every time. Oh, she God. Oh, she's going at her with that heel. Oh, she's got that spike on that heel she's just trying to beat her with. Beat? She's trying to maim. She's trying to stab Jada Stone here. Jada fighting out of it, fighting tooth and nail, fighting for her life here. This is not a match, folks. This is not a sanction match. This wasn't this... supposed to be anything. Neither one of these women are supposed to be out of here. I just grabbed her by the hair. Oh, come her on. By her hair. Come on. This is just a beating. This is just two competitors fighting one another. The absolute disrespect. Can we get some security or some officials out here? I mean, this is, these two are just beating the hell out of each other. You're talking about the disrespect by Jada Stone. Oh, oh my goodness. Stone just dropped Shalance. Oh, head scissors. Takes the champ down. Takes the champ out. Jada Stone, beautiful missile drop kicks into Shalance to the outside. Finally, Jada Stone, the spark, on fire right now. We need more people out here to protect the champ. There we go, Joe Wheeler, you'll take care of her. Jada Stone wants more. Look at Shalante, back and down, but look who's in the ring with as well. Get in your hand off of that championship, it doesn't belong to you. If Jada Stone has anything to say, here soon. Oh, it looks terrible on Mike. I was driving home from practice, about to be a free agent, hopefully signing another multi-year deal in the NBA. And I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge, loud noise. I knew with my injuries that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Instead, I'm in the hospital looking at all these permanent injuries that I suffered. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. And I never thought I'd retire at 31 years old. I knew if there was, you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was going to be Morgan & Morgan. It's crazy because basketball was always there for me. When something like this happened, they weren't, and Morgan & Morgan was. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me, and I'll never forget that. And 
Morgan and Morgan are unbelievable what they do. They're sharp, they're smart, they're professional. They'll do what's right for you. I'm Chandler Parsons, and I chose Morgan and Morgan. EC3 is the type of person that likes to pull dates out of thin air. Well, I got a date for them. One, seven, two, zero, two, three, Nightmare Rumble. That's the date that EC3 decided to come back to OVW and put himself into my business. He's also someone that doesn't respect me and calls me a wrestler. Like, that's a bad thing. Damn straight, I'm a wrestler. And he calls himself an attraction. <laughs> He's the equivalent of attracting flies to Here's one last date for you. March 4th, 2023, March Mayhem is going to be the day that EC3 respects Shotgun Tony Gunn. Click, click. And now, the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. Going for a figure four. Might be looking to break the leg of cash flow completely. Look at those big legs. Look, can and he get there it? There it is. Oh. The pressure's on. Cash trying to reach those ropes, and he does. He makes it. Oh, somehow still had, still had enough energy to get that big cross body out of nowhere. That was the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. It's love in your mouth. Mr. Pentacular. Jesse Gutters. Jesse Gutters. The following contest is your main event of OVW. It is an eight-man tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, the team of Adam Revolver. The OVW Wrestling Champion, certified Blue Curtis. The OVW Heavyweight Champion, the Indian Lion, Mahabali Shira. And the OVW National Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Spectacular, Jesse Carter. This new team, this gathering of OVW's finest and most influential has really taken the company by storm, taken the sport by storm over the last month. And really, guys, no one's had an answer for the hell with, wet with which they have wrought. Like General Patton on a Segway, Jesse Goddard marching to the ring with his men. Oh, okay, Steve, I know they're impressive and everything, but that doesn't excuse the fact you got a pet daddy tattoo. We still need to talk about that. I got it on my pet, though. Doesn't make it any better. But this main event could not get any better. This might be one of the biggest main events we've ever seen here at OBW. And their opponents introducing first, Truth Magnum, Turbo Floyd, the even younger somehow, a younger man alive. He's like a sexy Benjamin it's, Button. It's because they were both born on a leap year. But besides that, the two men who have trained every professional wrestler under the sun are teaming with the champ. And their partners, the OVW Tag Team Champions, Luscious Lawrence and Omar Ami. Luscious Lawrence and Omar Amir literally battled the forces of evil to become OVW Tag Team Champions. But Josh, in a way, this group might be cleaner looking, but every bit as evil and vindictive as the Fallen. Without a doubt, Jesse Goddard has assembled one of the greatest teams that's ever graced a professional wrestling ring. And guys, and I, it has paid off for every member. I mean, Adam Revolver even looks better oh. than ever, but come on, come on. Blindsided attack on the champs in the outrunners. Katie bar the door, it's a Pier 6 brawl. We are all over Davis Arena already. We're just getting started. Truth yes. Magnum throwing Luke Curtis out to the floor. Almost on to Shane and the dude. Now guys, we knew when we saw this card that this was gonna be madness, but it is chaos out of the gate. We got senior official Daniels, Daniel Spencer in there, one of the finest referees in the sport today, but even he is gonna have issues keeping this in control. On one side of the ring, we've got two of the greatest tag teams OVW's ever seen in the Outrunners and the champs, Omar and Luscious Lawrence. But on the other side, we have the faction in professional wrestling, and by God, we are just getting started. Folks, this main event continues. Do not go anywhere. 
America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. For the people.com. It's free! Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Welcome back to this monumental main event eight man tag. The Outrunners and the OVW Tag Team Champions, Lester Lord's Omar Amir against Goddard and his group of cronies, Luke Curtis, Mahabali Shira, Adam Revolver. Now you're talking about the faction in professional wrestling, the greatest assembly of men we may have ever seen in history, period. Not that's, even wrestling. That's right. Goddard's and his geeks on the other side of the ring. I think they prefer pecking the nips. But you know what? Yeah. We got to say, this group has paid off for everybody, and even Adam Revolver is in the best shape of his life. I have it on good authority. He's training with Shane and the dude, who, as I hear, has great shoulders. But right now, the shoulder of Revolver has to be sore after the Outrunners working him over. That's right. Shannon's traps are super deceptive. The jacket does it nothing. But, oh, my goodness. Speaking of deceptive. Educated Cheeks and Luscious Lawrence there, Josh. That posterior-based offense. Well, you know, it's hard to get it, uh, a handle on the rump that's coming at you. He's got plenty of handles, but I understand what you're saying. Omar Amir, so powerful, multi-time heavyweight champion in there against Revolver. And Revolver now isolated. This ring cut in half, and he could not be further away from his team. It's, it's the motion lotion. You can't get a hold of him. You see, he's too slick. Turbo got him up. Putting him down the powerhouse of the Outrunners. And look at this quick tag team work out of these four men. Absolutely. Now, on March 4th, Josh, Luscious Lawrence and Omar Amir will defend their tag team championships against the Outrunners, but tonight these guys are all on the same page. Well, it's for the greater good, Brian. You're absolutely right. Hold on. Pin attempt here. Two count. Now, you got to think on Goddard's side of the ring, though, Steve. They have so much championship gold, but two of the championships they don't have are in the hands of Luke Kurt, or the hands of Omar Amir and Luscious Lawrence right now. You're absolutely right, and that's going to be a very, very big motivating factor for this match, knowing that they want the gold. They want all the gold, but there's a couple pieces missing from their mantle. Luke Curtis got tagged in fresh, Josh, but he's running into the same problems as Revolver here. Truth tags, Turbo back in. Great quick tags here. And to that point, Steve, they want that championship for the influence. They like the better payday, sure, but it's the influence, the stroke, and this team is all about having power and influence. I mean, but you're talking about influence. The Outrunners trained Antonio Inoki, for God's sake. How much more influential can you get? Luke Curtis certifiably in trouble here. Luscious Lawrence and Omar Mir, tag team champions, working over certified. Oh. And look, Luke Curtis up. Omar putting him down with authority. A little stank behind that one, guys. Luke Curtis in the wrong end of the world right now, and Omar just having a, a, a any pick he wants. Ooh. Folks, we've had a lot, of, a lot of main events in the beautiful lights of DC Productions, but this has to be one of the finest we've ever seen, one of the highest caliber roster of eight-man tags we've ever seen in this hallowed halls of Davis Arena. The Outrunners have really isolated every member of that team that's made it in, working so well with the tag team champions, who they're going to be on the other side of the rings with on March 4th. Now, these men are all professionals, but you got to wonder, as this match continues, are they going to be able to keep this same juju going, have this same mojo, which is the word that I meant to say in the first place. Now, Josh, you've made this champion after champion after champion. Outrunners in there with their opponents on March 4th as members tonight. I mean, is that going to create friction? You know, it's the old, the enemy of my enemy is my friend type of situation. Right now, Jesse Goddard has assembled a very, very dangerous group of individuals. The Outrunners know they have to put aside their quest for the OBW Tag Team Championship to try to make some sort of dent to stop ooh, ooh, the momentum of Goddard's and his geeks. Well, this is the biggest dent in the armor we've seen of Pectacular and his group of cronies since they've gathered. This gathered, this team of the Outrunners and the Tag Team Champions has really been the biggest force that they've had to go up against. The fluidity that the Outrunners have just now halted. Uh, hold on, Maha, Bali, Shira, 
the powerhouse, the OVW Heavyweight Champion in the ring now. Turbo Floyd tagging himself in, and we're about to see a major power versus power. You're right? absolutely right. As intimidating as Shira is, he's in there with Ed Strangler, Lewis's favorite wrestler. The Indian Lion versus the most dangerous man alive. The powerhouse of the Outrunners. See, Goddard's trying to get involved there. Oh, but hold on. Boom! That spinning back elbow by Shira, guys, just so quick, so powerful. And now the momentum we've been talking about, these four men halted just like that. And you heard this crowd now hushed into silence. They were so loud, so behind this four-man team. Shoulder to shoulder, neither man moves. You got to give it to Turbo, not backing down from one of the most dangerous men we've ever seen coming to OVW, Mahabali Shira. And hold, Truth tagged in, nobody saw it. Referee did. Double shoulder tackle takes down Mahabali Shira. Oh, the oh. Outrunner's in control here. Revolver tagged in. Not doing much good, though. Revolver sent for a ride. Luke Curtis eats a pair of elbows from the tag team champs. The champs are and in look the at this. Are in. Oh, God, this is out of there. I've never seen that man move so fast. They were so move. close to getting their hands on Jesse Goddard's and nothing would have made me happier. This quartet of men has backed down Goddard's and his gang for maybe the first time. These guys are off keel. Trying to regroup on the outside. On, tr trying to get some momentum back, trying to get some confidence back. Now things getting back in order. Again, huge credit to referee Daniel Spencer. This is not an easy match to keep under control, and he's doing a phenomenal job, but he has to for this type of matchup. Not at all, and you see Luke Curtis pushed right back into the corner. He's somewhere he does not want to be. And, and let's be honest here. The tag team champions, Omar Amir, Luscious Lawrence, and the Outrunners have done a phenomenal job of cutting this ring completely in half and employing great tag team strategy. You're absolutely right. I mean, they saw, they saw in the beginning, isolating him, cutting that ring in half, working on a specific man. Shira stopped him for that minute, took him off the game, but now right back on it. And like I said, it's been seamless, even though these two teams will face off the Outrunners, Luscious, ooh, and Omar at March Mayhem. It's, it's been seamless, like silk, working with all four of them. Absolutely. And folks, tickets are on sale right now, ovwrestling.com, if you want to see the Outrunners. Oh! Ooh, challenge Lawrence and Omar for those tag team championships. You also see Shearer defend that OVW Heavyweight Championship against Crixus. Folks, we'll be right back. Go to ovwrestling.com and get those tickets. We'll be right back with more main events. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. Want to raise money for your school, club, or organization? You can bring the action-packed excitement of OVW to your town. Oh! Email info at ovwrestling.com today to find out more. High school athletic departments, police and fire departments, sports teams, civic groups, or any group wanting to raise money can bring the superstars of OVW to town for a night of hard-hitting, oh! high-flying, action-packed excitement. Welcome to OVW. Bring the superstars of tomorrow to your town. Welcome back to Come this main on. event. Goddard's tagged himself in. Referee's back was turned, and now just attacking. Tagged Tony himself in. There was no tag. It was a phantom tag. He jumped in the ring, and uh, his partner, Mahabali Shearer, jumped right out. For those of you who are just joining us for the main event, we got a huge eight-man tag. we got the Outrunners Ooh. and the tag champs, Omar Amir and Luscious Lords against the faction of professional wrestling, the greatest group of men to ever assemble in any sport. Well, that was long-winded and untrue. But you know what? Adam Revolver with that backdrop goes for the pin. Got a two kind. He saw Turbo tried to break it up and then thought better of it. Knew, knew his partner had this, but now Truth on an island by himself. This ring cut in half, Steve. Into just a pit of vipers in that corner, man. Truth needs to realize the truth that he is in a bad spot and he might not be able to get out. Josh, I think you're right. Pit of vipers is probably the best way to describe it because they're all going to strike at you. They're all trying to sink their venom into you and bring you down. Go home, Luke Curtis. Going for the pin. Two count. 
Guys, that's, truth that's a bit much. That's, that's a really negative connotation you're putting on these guys. Oh, you're facing a negative connotation. Shut up. Look, spectacular again in there. Cheap shots as the referee is distracted. You guys, this is just their MO all over. Distract, cheat, and, be and become victorious. Well, that's really? their shirt you, Did you hear all those tags being made just now? It's the numbers game. They have the advantage, and they know how to play those numbers. Goddard is a master manipulator. We have seen that time and time again. I mean, here's the thing, though. They're all incredible competitors, but they like to take these shortcuts, and it's pathetic because they don't have to. These guys just want to get an easier night at work instead of putting in the oh, work. Oh, yeah, that's what I would do. I want to work harder. <laughs> yeah, you want to earn respect. This is a business built on respect and grit. Goddard's rolling through, keeping Truth isolated, and tagging in Revolver. Guys, we can say a lot about Revolver, but he is a technician. He knows how to get the job done. I don't know if there's a finer utility player for a faction than an Adam Revolver. Adam get... Revolver is a seasoned veteran of the ring. A former OVW heavyweight champion. Held damn near every championship we have here in the company. Yeah, that's a true story. Adam Revolver, a multiple-time Triple Crown champion here in OVW as well. He guys has gotten in the best shape of his life. He probably sees all the championships around him. You kind of think, Revolver, championship aspirations. I mean, that Kentucky Heavyweight Championship still out there. Their presence around one another will only help to further grow every member of the group, getting better every single day. I mean, iron sharpens iron. You see that. But again, so, you also see these guys justify their actions with each other, he's which is just as dangerous. These men aren't iron. These men are diamonds. Diamonds in the rough. True. Oh, double down. Truth down after a clothesline to Curtis, and Curtis down after that clothesline from Truth. Both men got to get to their corners here. The OBW faithful starting to rally oh, goes, behind Truth. There goes Turbo. He has hit Turbo mode. Oh, Tur Truth was so close, but Revolver just cut him off. Adam Revolver once again using that ring awareness, that veteran mentality to cut him off. And now Truth just fingertips away from a tag. So but can close. he get there? Turbo can taste it. You see him jumping, reaching for it. Oh, come on, Goddard's, oh. Goddard's pulling down Turbo. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, oh, but there's a pin. Here. Truth trying to get the small package on Revolver. Revolver able to get out. Right back on the attack night, giving Truth a second to breathe. Revolver much too good, much too smart to be trapped in something like that. Well, makes the tag. Tagging in the big man again. Mahabali Shira has not seen much action in this matchup. Still fresh as a daisy. Every amount of action that he's had, though, has been intense. Mahabali Shira just weeks ago turning his back on the OVW faithful and aligning himself with Jesse Goddard. The man, he's, he's our OVW heavyweight champion. How are you supposed to respect acts like this? You're attacking the whole gamut of the competitors and distracting the referee again, allowing for this double team. A triple team, come on. And that's the pathetic thing. These are all world-class competitors. They don't need to do this. Working smarter, not harder. Okay, all right. Working smarter, not harder is the faction here of professional wrestling. And Shiloh Jones is hurt. Truth Magnum in a bad way now. Luke Curtis tags back in. Truth has been isolated so long here, guys. And you see now, Goddard's his gang utilizing the strategy that Outrunners and Lawrence and, and, and Omar used earlier on. This crowd trying to will on Truth Magnum, trying to get the Outrunner up to his feet. Truth now feeding off the energy. And folks, there is nothing like the energy in the Davis Arena. We thank you once again for welcoming us into your homes. We'll welcome you into ours every Thursday night, 4400 Shepherdsville Road. And he makes the tag! Truth got the tag to Luscious Lawrence, one half the OVW Tag Team Champions now in this matchup. The King of the Juice is in the ring and he is on fire. Beautiful power slam. Luscious feeling it now, former Kentucky Heavyweight Champion. Taking out the other side of the ring with ease. Now his partner, Omar Amir, getting in to even up the odds. Referee Daniel Spencer trying to keep this in control. Little meeting of the minds in the middle. Spencer, get the legal men in the ring. Get everybody else out. You Do your job, Daniel ref. Spencer trying, but just, oh, Ooh. chaos all over. Flapjack on Jesse Goddard. Spectacular. Getting dropped on his face and his pecs. Right into that million dollar smile. Oh, looking for that one night stand. Oh, just elbows right into the eye socket. Oh, no. 
drilled him with that elbow, and now Lawrence tossed into Turbo. Turbo now wondering what's going on here. Hold on. Turbo now might be misreading no, no, the situation. No. Partners hey. tonight, opponents on May, March 4th. No, hey guys, miscommunication, it's a misunderstanding. Uh, all this time, they say they're on the same page, but now their true feelings come to light. To come this far, to have Goddard and his gang reeling like this, but now it's breaking down between the outrunners and the champs. It was only a matter of time, I knew it. Oh, no, 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 and things have just completely imploded here. This is just broken down. Referee Daniel Spencer trying desperately to get control here. Trying to go into everybody he can, say to get to get it together. Daniel Spencer calling for one in, one out from each team. No one paying attention. Oh, Daniel Spencer has started the count. No one's paying attention to damn melee. And now it's officially melee. The match is over. Daniel Spencer getting up to a five count. And rightfully so. Daniel Spencer getting to a five count and getting to a point where he had had enough throwing this match out. Because after weeks and weeks of this gang coming out here messing up all these main events, now they've messed up their own. They may have lost the match, but the message has been sent by the faction oh, of professional wrestling. Oh, no, 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 wrestling. look at this. While we're just standing on the neck, hang Hold on. on. Hang on, we know that music! Shotgun Tony Gunn making his way to the ring, coming out like a bullet to take out Goddard and his cronies. Tony Gunn incensed. What's it tear this entire group apart? Mahabali Shira up now. He's got Gunn goozled. Gunn breaks out. Look at that super kick to the temple from Gunn. Gunn dropping the OVW Heavyweight Champion. And hold on, got Goddard's. Suplex to Goddard's. Gun call for the kill shot on Here the chip. Here we go. Gun goes for the kill shot. Goddard's. Oh. Goddard's getting out of the way, and I don't blame him. Tony. Right in the nick of time. Oh, hold on. Into cash flow. 